have you run a Facebook reach campaign or have you just ignored it and run the traditional traffic lead and conversion types of Facebook campaigns. If you're like most advertisers, you've probably done the latter. So that's what prompts the video today as the Facebook reach campaign is not being used to its fullest potential. Let's begin. Hey time it if we're just meeting welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing so if that sounds beneficial consider subscribing so first let's start off with what is a Facebook reach campaign this is one of the 11 objectives that you can use to market on Facebook the Facebook reach campaign doesn't take much into consideration it just goes out there and reaches as many people possible regardless of intent. Now the benefit of reach campaigns are simple. The main one I already alluded to, which is reaching as many people as possible while at the same time keeping your CPM low. Your CPM is your cost per thousand impressions. A second benefit is you get to set the frequency cap. So you get to control the amount of times that your consumer, your client, your customer, the people that you're advertising to actually see your ad. And in return, you reduce the ad fatigue. Now warning, with reach campaigns, you want to advertise into smaller audiences. You wanna use smaller audiences when you're using your reach campaign as that's where it thrives the most. So with that said, let's jump over to the computer and start creating a reach campaign. All right, so let's run the reach campaign. We haven't done this campaign on this channel, so I wanted to make sure to highlight it as it does have its place in your marketing, or let me rephrase that, it should have its place in your marketing as it helps build your brand. So let's dig right into it. And as always, if we are running a real estate campaign, which in this scenario we will be, we need to highlight that it's in the, in the special ad category, which is housing. As a reminder, if you're running credit, employment, and housing, this is the filter that you need to highlight, that you're running a campaign for ads in a special ad category. All right, let's read the difference differences between a brand awareness and a reach campaign. So we are selecting our objective, and let's read the differences. In the brand awareness, you see increased awareness for your brand by reaching people who are more likely, those are the key words, to be interested in it. As opposed to the reach campaign, show your ad to the maximum number of people. So effectively what this is saying is, when you select the reach campaign, there are no other considerations that Facebook is taking into consideration outside of the filters that you establish. With the brand awareness, it's going to do its best to track out and seek out the people that are likely to engage, that are likely to have some sort of interest in your brand, your company, your organization, whatever you are advertising, it is seeking that type of engagement, so optimizing it to a, a certain extent. And the reason we want to be doing a reach campaign is many well there's many reasons but the one that we're going to highlight today is the open house ad it's going to be very simple which this is going to work whenever you're running an open house list so creating an open house list of all of the open houses on a certain day i'm getting way too far ahead of myself so let's just build and i'll show you the nuances along the way and then ultimately i'll show you what i mean by the open house list all right, it's a reach campaign. And then as far as interest, we're not gonna worry about that right now. This time we are not gonna do a campaign budget optimization. Recently or lately, I've been doing a good amount of the budget optimization ads. This time I'm not going to, as I'm not gonna be building too many ad sets. Actually, I'm gonna build one, that's it. Reach, open houses, and I'll leave the interest section alone for a second. I'll come back to it. 
The open house, let's say, is going to be in Fort Worth. The city. And as a reminder, you start off with 15 and the minimum radius that you can select is a 15 mile radius. So as you can see, the potential reach is large. So we do want to include some interest in our reach campaign. The reason being is because there is nothing preventing it from it just spraying your message all around. So it's trying to optimize, I'm gonna rephrase that, it's trying to reach as many people as possible. So with the reach campaign, you are you don't have that safety net of Facebook trying to optimize where it's going to engage. It's just gonna go out and show it to as many people as possible. That's really all it's designed to do. So we certainly want to scale down our audiences as much as we can so we are not spending our money just fruitlessly. So what I'm gonna do is include a Zillow interest. I'm gonna narrow the audience still even more 450,000 is what the potential reach is right now. I'm gonna include realtor.com as another interest. See where we're at right now. Oops, I'm sorry, I put that in the wrong place. I'm narrowing the audience. We're gonna go with realtor.com. So it's 54,000. That's actually a good one, but let's just see if we can, we can narrow it down even more. Trulia. 38,000, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Anything under 100,000, I consider fine, especially for this open house uh, ad. All right, so as a recap, we are running an ad for Zillow and those people that have an interest in realtor.com and have an interest in trulia.com. So it shows a bit more intentionality. All right, so I wanna make sure that I update plus Realtor plus Trulia. So I'll just copy that so I have that on the next screen. All right, now you're gonna start seeing some differences. I still like to edit my placements, especially in this type of ad, since I don't wanna spend too much money on platforms that may not work for me. So I'm taking away the in stream the article and, and all the other items i am going to leave the facebook stories and the facebook news feed i'll leave all the mobile devices you're going to see something a little bit different so optimization for ad delivery you're going to see we'll serve your ads to the maximum number of people or we'll deliver your ads to people as many times as possible with this type of ad and most types of ads that you're running, you want the reach. You want to reach as many people as possible versus showing an impression as many times as possible. So we're gonna leave it with reach. And then with the potential reach being where it's at, which has reduced drastically, but I'm okay with that. $5 should be enough for this particular ad set. And of course, as a reminder, you do want to be running as many split tests as you can, which um, depending on your budget, um, may maybe two, maybe five, maybe 10. At the end of the day, you're trying to get a better gauge on what type of interest are working better in your market. So one thing that you're gonna see that's different here is the frequency cap. And the frequency cap is something that's new for you. This is something that happens because of the ad that we're running. We've run other types of ads. We've run traffic, we've run engagement, we've run, um, what else have we run? We've run lead campaigns, conversion campaigns, and everything else of the like. So you're gonna see the impressions being capped if you so choose. And that is something that I highly encourage you I at least like to cap them. In this particular ad set, I'll go ahead and, well, I'll explain the methodology here in a little in a little bit when we go to the ad set, but right now I want three impressions for every day. And I'll show you when this actually gets run. All right, so we're gonna do that. The reach campaign, Zillow, 
plus realtor plus Trulia interest and it's gonna be an open houses ad. All right, and then we're gonna go to add media. So add an image. I don't have an image ready to go. So I'll just use that. Boom, boom. Shows me that. All right. And as far as the ad copy we're gonna use, it's very simple. And I'll show you why I did the impressions and capping it the way that I did. So looking for open houses this Saturday, view the entire list of open houses in Fort Worth, all homes priced below $400,000. I forgot the exclamation mark. Access list before Saturday. So this is an open house list. This works well when you run the ad starting Monday or Tuesday or Wednesday, giving people to actually see your ad. Depending on your budget, you may need to increase it or decrease, but this is time sensitive. Notice that we are highlighting the open houses this coming Saturday. So that means you want to give yourself enough run rate in order for people to access that list. And by us putting a qualifier of homes under $400,000, it makes the list a bit more useful, a bit more practical, and something more tangible for your leads versus, hey, here's the entire list of open houses in Fort Worth. That is actually, that is pretty good in and of itself. However, by adding that $400,000 qualifier, it makes it a little bit more tangible versus them thinking that it's the entire state, I'm sorry, the entire city of Fort Worth. We're gonna add a website URL, open access, open house list, um open houses and then the url i'm just gonna put my website i don't have a url handy so you would put your you would put your landing page you would put your landing page url here where you have the delivery mechanism to deliver that open house list. So this is the open house list and this works fantastic for your reach as it is a way to increase your brand. It's a way to reach as many people as possible. Now, remember, we don't want to leave the audience so large, especially today because of the special ad category. The special ad category limits us because we have to start at 50 mile radiuses before we were able to drill down to a one mile radius and exclude any neighborhoods that we wanted. That's no longer the case. So you want to reduce your ad size, I'm sorry, your reach a little bit because you don't wanna market to the entire 15 mile radius without adding some interest and some qualifiers because at that point, you're just advertising to anybody and everybody. At the end of the day, the budget is limited. So you taking control of your interest is very vital, especially today. Well, that's it. That's how you run a reach campaign. If you found value in this video today, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so we can talk again soon.